T. Hey, Marie, how are you doing? Oh, doing pretty good. How about you? Ah, good. Yeah, doing good. Yeah. It's a pretty beautiful morning here in Hyrule. Ah, uh, yeah. A lot of snow, huh? Mm-hmm. Lots of snow in Hyrule. Oh, wait, we're filming. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, the recipe that I'm going to be doing today, I, I have no idea what recipe I'm going to be doing today. Maybe I could... Okay, now it's breakfast. It's a, it's a beautiful morning here in Hyrule, of course. But what should I make for breakfast? Now, hmm, I could use eggs, rice. <gasps> egg and rice, egg and rice, this is perfect. Okay, now egg and rice from Breath of the Wild is a pretty common, very simple dish. Basically, you just throw an egg and rice together. But today we're mainly going to just, well, make it just a touch more complex make it but this it's, it's 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 not too complex it's a pretty simple dish but let me just tell you it's gonna be worth it all afterwards so um yeah let's move on with the ingredients and see what ingredients we have to work with okay now the first ingredient is of course some simple old jasmine rice now the jasmine rice is a pretty good um i mean it's in the dish and an egg is in the dish there's one egg we're going to be using only one we don't need any any other sort of eggs. One large egg, because there's so many other types to choose from. <laughs> and then there is um, rock salt, mainly, just to give it some pizzazz, you know, just some tasty, just some tasty saltiness. Um, one clove of garlic, that's going to give it a lot of flavor. And in the thing, you can see some cilantro, and we're gonna be using some cilantro as a decoration, but not just as a decoration, we're also going to be using it in the rice. So yes, some, some cilantro and some good old butter. You can use um, any sort of butter. Goat butter works fine if you really want to use that. But um, yes, it is a lot of, it's, I mean, it's not hard to come by. It's, goat butter's pretty easy to find, but I'm just gonna be using cow butter because goat butter has kind of like a cheese type of taste. I could use it, but I'm not for this video. But um, yeah, all these ingredients that we have, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here and basically you have one clove, grab your one clove of garlic and then you have all this cilantro right here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is kinda like chop up your cilantro pretty nice and fine, okay? And once you get it fine enough, it will be pretty good to go, okay? I'd have to say this is pretty fine. And you're gonna wanna get about a fourth cup of cilantro out of this, okay? That's how much cilantro, um, very fine, nice cilantro you're going to want, okay? About a fourth cup. Fourth cup of cilantro. And then the next is the garlic, which you're just gonna wanna put it through your garlic presser, okay? Just press that down. Okay, there you go. And just kind of like scrape that off with your knife. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab your garlic and your cilantro and head over to your pressure um, cooker. Okay, so now the first thing you're gonna wanna do, head over to your pressure cooker and grab a half cup of rice, add that to your pressure cooker. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can use a rice cooker if you don't have a rice cooker, you can use a pot, but I don't know how to do that in a pot, so you're gonna have to find out on your own. But next, you're gonna also go, bleh. you're also going to want to have a half cup of water. And then grab your one clove of garlic, add that in, and your fourth cup, okay, of cilantro. And you're gonna wanna give that a nice stir, come on over here. Just a really quick stir. There's not gonna be much in there. It's not gonna look like much, but rice, ex jasmine rice expands quite, quite well, okay? Just give that a quick stir, just give that a quick stir, and then you're just going to want to put your lid on, okay? Backwards. There you go. And you're gonna want pres pressure cook. Put that on one minute. And that might, they may not seem like much for rice, but okay, that will start in just one minute. 
that will start in a second. But it may not sound like much, but that's because you're going to want the pressure to release naturally. You aren't just going to let all the pressure out at the same time. So let's go in and start on our egg. Okay, so I have my pan on four, okay? Um, that's basically just a little bit below medium because we don't want it very, we don't want it very high because, because we're gonna make a runny egg. If you don't like runny eggs and you only, and you like your yolk to be hard, um, then that's fine. You can use, then, then you can make that. But game accuracy, for game accuracy, I'm gonna be doing a runny egg. So grab a li just a little bit of butter, okay? So you're gonna wanna get your pan all nice. Nice and buttery, so it slides off nice and easy. And it will also make the egg much tastier. Okay. Next, you can grab your egg and crack this. Beautiful, it's looking perfect. Okay, I'll dispose of these. And then, I'm just gonna kinda want this to kinda crispen up a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna go grab a spatula real quick. Okay, so right now, basically, I my egg, I have my spatula and my egg is pr looks pretty good right now. But here's the thing with runny yolk eggs. You have to be very gentle with the yolk because you have to be quite gentle with it because you don't want the yolk to pop is the problem. And you, you kind of want this to, okay. And then you're gonna kind of want to flip it over, but you want to be very, very gentle, okay? Oh, I don't know, that might've popped. Hopefully it didn't. You're gonna want to get the rest of your this side nice and beautiful. Just let that cook for just a second. Okay, it's been cooking for just a minute, but here's the thing. You're gonna kinda of wanna take that off the burner and just kinda of flip it over to see how it's doing, okay? Oh, it's looking perfect, look at that. Just look. It's perfect, okay? Now, basically, what you're going to want to do is just let it, just let it stay over here because my rice is not completely done yet, but we're just gonna wanna let it stay here and just just let it be warm, nice and warm, but you're gonna wanna take it off the burner, turn your burner off, and right now all we have to do is really wait for the rice to cook. Okay, I think it's finally done. It's completely done. Now let me just grab some beautiful oven middies. I'll grab this, that, that there. And now all I have to do is really put this up. Okay, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just get your rice on a nice plate, okay? And then put your egg right on top. Mm -mm -mm. And then crack it with some salt, a little tasty rock salt. Put that on top of your egg, like you would normally do any morning. And then, like we did in our last episode, I don't remember what episode it was. I think it was, probably gotta think of it later. I don't remember, we made like a leaf. Oh, spicy pepper steak, that's the one, that's the one. You can go check that one out if you want to. So you can go check that one out, but we're gonna kinda grab some of our cilantro, okay? And then just grab some of our beautiful cilantro and kind of make like some sort of a, like a leaf with it, okay? Grab your cilantro. Okay, make a leaf just like this, okay? Just a beautiful, no, just a beautiful leaf because that's what it looks like in the game. It pretty much looks like cilantro. Just kind of like stick it right there On your rice just kind of like you put a little bit of rice on top of your leaf just so it holds it nice like just holds it down okay and then once you have that on there your dish is pretty much good to go and there you have it 
some tasty old fried egg and rice. <laughs> so I have to just go grab a fork real quick. Okay, now I got my fork and I am ready to dig into this beautiful dish. Now, just grab some rice, tasty old rice, and grab some of that tasty egg. I feel so bad for ruining this. This looks so beautiful. Now I have to ruin it. Mmm. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, this is so good. Okay. The egg. It's so, so good. I mean, it's a, just a normal egg. I mean, with some salt on top, of course. And then with the rice, mm -mm -mm, is that good. Mmm. Now, the rice pairing. Sorry, my mouth is full. Mm. My, mm. The rice pairing with the egg is unbelievable. Let me grab some cilantro. Mmm, this is perfect. Now, the rice pairing with cilantro and the egg, and oh, you can't really taste the garlic that much in the rice. Mmm, with cilantro. Mmm, makes the rice really nice and fresh, you know. Mmm. 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 Bye. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. Um, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And click the bell notification button, that way you will be alerted if I post any sort of new videos. Also, leave a comment down in the comment section below. You know how much I love reading those, so fun to read. And also, please tell me um, what other Breath of the Wild recipes you would like me to make. Because I am desperate. Please, I have no idea what one to make. Please, help. Ah, give me some sort of clues, whatever you want. I don't care. Just tell me what to make, please, next video. So, yes, everyone, again, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time on Night Productions. Bye.